Rock and Learn. When counting change at a garage sale or anywhere, it's good to know about coin combinations. It takes five pennies to equal a nickel, ten pennies to equal a dime, twenty-five pennies to equal a quarter, fifty pennies to equal a half dollar, and one hundred pennies to equal a dollar. That's a lot of pennies, Penny. <laughs> I like having coins that are worth more, like the nickel, because you don't have to carry as many. It takes two nickels to equal a dime, five nickels to equal a quarter, ten nickels to equal a half dollar, and twenty nickels to equal a dollar. Dimes are pretty cool because they're worth more and they're smaller. However, they are kind of tricky. What do you mean, dimes are tricky? Well, we can't use only dimes to equal a quarter. We need two dimes and a nickel to equal a quarter. Or two dimes and five pennies. That's right! And it takes five dimes to equal a half dollar and ten dimes to equal a dollar. Quarters are my favorite coins because there are so many different designs. It takes two quarters to equal a half dollar and four quarters to equal a dollar. Half dollars are hard to find, but you only need two of them to equal a dollar. Since you don't see them very often, you might have to put two quarters with the half dollar to equal a dollar. It's fun making coin combinations. The more you practice, the better you get. Whenever I empty my piggy bank, the first thing I do is separate the coins so that I have all the pennies in one pile, all the nickels in another, the dimes in another, then the quarters, then the half dollars, and finally the dollar coins and bills. That makes it easier to count how much money you have. Start with the large coins and use skip counting to put all of the coins into dollar piles. Sometimes I don't have the right number of coins to do the skip counting all the way up to a dollar. So I just use some of the smaller coins to finish up the dollar. Hey, Penny. Why don't we count the money in your piggy bank? Maybe we can get our speaker fixed. Okay, first we'll separate the coins. Here are two Susan B. Anthony dollars. One Sacagawea dollar. Three half dollars. Nine quarters. Four dimes. Ten nickels. And a whole pile of pennies! Let's put the coins in groups that are equal to a dollar so we can count how many dollars we have. Here's one, two, three dollars from the dollar coins. Let's count two of the half dollars. Fifty, a dollar. That brings us to four dollars. We have another half dollar left. If we put two of the quarters with it, that makes another dollar. Five dollars total. That leaves us with seven quarters. Let's add them slowly. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, a dollar! That's six dollars so far. Now let's count the other three quarters. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five. And if we add two of the dimes and a nickel, that will make another dollar. Now we have seven dollars counted. That leaves us with two dimes. Ten, twenty, twenty cents. We can skip count using the nickels from there. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 cents. Let's see if we can get to a dollar with the pennies. One more would make 66. Now let's skip count two pennies at a time. 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 
90, 92, 94, 96, 98, uh-oh, only one more, 99. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars and ninety-nine cents! Wait, I just remembered! I found a penny on the sidewalk this morning. <laughs> now we have eight whole dollars! That may not be enough to get the speaker fixed. Hmm, maybe I should call our friend Dylan at the music store to see if he can help us out. Maybe he can loan us a speaker to use. You don't have to call me, man. I'm right here. I thought I'd drop by to see how things are going. Dude, do you think you can fix our speaker? Let me take a look. Hmm, no problem. It's just a loose wire. I won't charge you anything. Whoa, Dylan, you're pretty amazing. The speaker works, and I get to keep my piggy bank full. Yeah, thanks, Dylan. You're a great friend, and now we can rock tonight after all. Groovy. Now that we've counted the money in your piggy bank, let's practice some more. Remember, start counting with the largest coin and use skip counting wherever you can. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen cents. Ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six cents. Twenty-five, thirty, Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two cents. Twenty-five, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-one cents. Ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-two, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 42 cents. 25, 35, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61. That gives us 61 cents. 25, 50, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 88 cents. 25, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 59 cents. Wow, look at all these coins! 25, 50, 75, 85, 90, 95, 96, 98, 100, 102, 102 cents! Or a dollar and two cents! 1 dollar, 50, 100 makes two dollars. 50, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That's another dollar for three dollars total. Great! Now let's play a game called Count the Coins. See if you can count the coins faster than we do. We'll give you a little help on the first few, then you're on your own. Ready? Thirteen cents. Twenty. 
38 cents. Forty six cents, ninety two cents. One hundred cents or one dollar. Twenty six cents. Fifty one cents. Ninety five cents. Seventy nine cents. Ninety nine cents. 